Hey guys, welcome to 7th Galaxy Dragons and today we will be going over some of the most common scaling morphs, colors, and visual morphs that you see in Bearded Dragons. Let's start by talking about the three major scaling morphs. You have Normal Scale, Leatherback, and Dunners. Normal Scale Dragons are what you will find in the wild in their native land of Australia. These dragons have rigid scales all over their back, limbs, and tail. They may not be the softest to touch, but they do have a really cool look, almost resembling the classic mystical dragon. Leatherback dragons have a smooth leathery texture to their scales. They are soft to the touch all over their body, and they only show spiky scales on their head and sides of their belly. This morph is very common today and is a co-dominant trait, meaning only one of the parents has to display it for it to be passed down to the offspring. Dunner dragons differentiate from normal scale dragons in several ways. The most obvious is their scales facing different directions all over their body. They also have vertical stripe patterns running down their back and tail compared to horizontal stripes seen in normal dragons. Dunners can also be leatherback, in which case you can easily tell the difference by looking at the spikes going in different directions on their stomach and their beard. Now we will talk about some of the colors that a bearded dragon can display. The most popular color seen in dragons is some variation of yellow, also known as citrus. This was the first color to be bred in captive bearded dragons and sold to the masses a couple decades ago. Today you can find them in bright lemon tone or a deeper banana yellow in citrus trans dragons. The second most popular color is red. This is a slightly newer color in beardies but is quickly gaining a lot of popularity. You can find these guys with a reddish brown tint all the way to a highly saturated bright red which is common in red trans dragons. Another color that is commonly bred in dragons would be orange. You can find these guys in a light peach tone or brightly saturated, almost glowing, common in orange trans dragons. This color is largely the result of pairing red and yellow dragons to make different variations of orange. Blue bars are a common color pattern found on many dragons. These are blue or silver horizontal stripes found on dragons back and sides of the belly. In Dunner dragons, the stripes run vertical down their backs. In trans dragons, blue bars normally appear dark purple. Now let's talk about the different visual morphs in Beardies. The most common visual morph in dragons today is the hypogene, short for hypomelanistic. Hypo dragons tend to be lighter in color and won't show any dark colors in their patterns. The easiest way to spot a hypo dragon is to look at their fingernails. Hypo dragons have clear fingernails while normal dragons without the hypogene have black fingernails. Sometimes major pet stores have these labeled as fancy bearded dragons. The second most common visual morph is the trans gene, short for translucent. Trans dragons have a gummy looking texture to their scales and tend to hold color very well. Almost all trans dragons have solid black eyes giving them an alien-like appearance. In rare cases, they will have normal or partially eclipsed eyes. The last visual morph we will talk about is the zero morph. These dragons are completely colorless and patternless. Most zeros look silver or gray, while hypo zeros can look paper white. This is one of the newest genes that breeders just started working with and is quickly gaining a lot of popularity. There are a few other bearded dragon morphs and colors, but at least we covered the basics. For more info, check out our site, 7thGalaxyDragons.com, and be sure to drop a comment below to let us know what your favorite colors and morphs are.